So one very useful thing about matrices is you can use them to solve simultaneous equations. So you've solved simultaneous equations using a graphical method, using substitution, using elimination. Now that you know what a matrix is, you can use matrices to solve them as well. I'm going to jump straight into this one. Uh, x plus 2y equals 4 and 3x equals 1 plus 5y. Y. We're going to find the simultaneous equation to those two linear equations. Um, now, of note is we probably, as a first step, need to rearrange it so that the x's, the y's, and the constants are lined up, like we do for elimination. So I'm going to rewrite those two as x plus 2y equals 4, and the next one as 3x minus 5y equals 1. You need to have it in this form with x, y equals, and then the, the constants on the other side. Now that we've got them in that form, we can rewrite them as a matrix by doing or a matrix multiplication in the following way. Alright, so 1x, 2y, 3x, negative 5, multiplied by the matrix x, y, equals the new matrix for 1. Okay, so think about what's actually happening there. Uh, 1x plus 2y. 1x plus 2y equals 4. 3x minus 5y. 3x minus 5y will equal 1. So it's just some matrix multiplication here. And x and y are our unknowns. Now, if we can solve that matrix equation... Uh, will be right. And we can solve that matrix equation fairly straightforward. So we can treat those matrices as A times X, or just AX, AX equals B. And you've solved equations like that before using uh, the inverse of A. So in this case, we do some pre-multiplying. We say that A to the negative 1, AX, equals A to the negative 1, inverse A, B. That's going to be the identity matrix of x. And then the identity matrix times x is just going to be x. Um, so we know that matrix x, which is going to be x and y, is equal to the inverse of a times b. So now we just need to find the inverse of a, multiply it by b, uh, and we'll have an answer. So we know that x is going to be equal to the inverse of a. So the inverse of a, I'm going to try to do it all in one step here, is going to be equal to 1 over um, 1 times negative 5, which is negative 5, uh, minus b times c, 2 times 3, which is 6. And then swap those elements, negative 5, 1, and make those elements negative. And we're going to multiply that by matrix B. Okay, I might just do a little bit of that grunt work and come back. So, 1 over negative 5 minus 6 is the same as negative 1 over 11. And then multiplying this matrix by this matrix is um, negative 5 times 4 plus negative 2 times 1, which is negative 22, and negative 3 times 4 plus 1 times 1, which is negative 11. So now I can finish this off by saying negative 1 11th times negative 22 is uh, positive 2, and negative 1 11th times 11 is 1. Okay, so now we know that matrix X, which is that is 2, 1. Therefore, for that set of equations, uh, x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1. Now, you might be looking at all of this and saying, well, that looks like a lot of work um, for just solving two simultaneous equations. I can do that really easily using substitution. I can do it really easily using elimination. And that is true. But matrices work no matter the size. So as long as you've got, as long as you can find the inverse of it, as long as you can do some of this stuff, 
If this matrix was uh, a 4x4 four four or a 5x5 five five or a 6x6 six six or a 7x7 seven seven or a 10x10 10 10 or a 100x100, 100 100, you could solve simultaneously. So if you had an equation with 10 variables and you had 10 of those equations, you could use this method. It's slightly more complicated, but you could use this method to solve that simultaneously. That's going to be much, much harder trying to use substitution or elimination. That is solving simultaneous equations using matrices.